Hi everybody and welcome to the Experimentally Challenged YouTube channel. This is the first of many videos that will chronicle our journey to build a Sling TSI. Our Sling kit is still in transit at this time, but I thought it would be a great opportunity to introduce everybody to the channel and to discuss the steps that we went through to buy an experimental airplane and why we chose the Sling TSI. So anytime you're looking at purchasing an aircraft, the first thing you need to figure out is your mission profile. You need to know how fast you wanna go, how far you wanna go, and how much weight you're gonna to need to carry. So in our case, we previously owned a Piper Lance and we knew that we wanted to go at least as fast as the Lance. So on average, that was about 145 knots true airspeed. A normal mission for us is from our home in Northern California to visit family down in Southern California. So that is about 450 nautical miles. And uh, we wanna have at least an hour of fuel in reserve when we arrive. And lastly, we wanted to be able to carry two adults two kids and luggage, and occasionally be able to uh, carry four adults with maybe a shorter uh, mission. And so that equates to about 650 pounds of payload. We've owned three certified aircraft in the past and have been heavily involved in the maintenance and upkeep of those aircraft. And so we knew that we were tired of dealing with 50 year old airplanes that were expensive to maintain, hard to repair, and really lacked modern safety features. Both my father-in-law Leonard and I knew that we wanted to build our next aircraft. And experimental aviation really has a lot of options, but once you have defined your mission profile, uh, it does narrow down the options uh, pretty drastically. So in the four place kit built world, there are really only a couple of options in the well-established kit built market that meet this mission profile. That's the RV-10 and the Sling TSI. Uh, honorable mentions to aircraft like the Aero Canard, the Bearhawk, the Veloci, and the Velocity XL. Those all have four seat options that would potentially meet our mission profile, but none of these kits have the reputation that Sling and Vans have. There are plenty of videos out there comparing the Sling TSI and the Vans RV10, so I'm not going to get into that on this channel. You can check out those comparison videos by Evan Brunier has one, Mojo Grip has one, um, and they, those have more information on some of the similarities and differences between those two aircraft. One of the big advantages for Sling to us was that the North American Sling factory is located in Southern California. So in February of 2022, we were able to schedule a factory tour for the family as well as a test flight for Leonard and I to experience the performance of the Sling TSI. Key takeaways for us were how well designed the kit was, all the holes are pre-punched with no need to fabricate any parts, and everything needed to complete the assembly of the aircraft is included in the kit. The test flight uh, it really exceeded our expectations in terms of published speeds, fuel economy, and maneuverability. The aircraft was fairly spacious for a four-seat aircraft. Uh, we are coming from the six-seat Piper Lance, and so we needed to meet our expectations on, on space. Uh, but really for a four-seat aircraft, I would say that it was very spacious and probably comparable to uh, like the Archer 2 that we previously had, uh, and maybe even a little more roomy than that. Uh, so after we visited the, the factory and decided that the Sling TSI really was the aircraft that we wanted to purchase, we placed a full airframe kit order in March of 2022. And Barry, the sales manager for North American Sling, uh, told us that lead times at that time were about 9 to 12 months. The demand for the Sling is tremendous. And uh, at that time, the ports were still pretty well inundated uh, with backlog, with the ocean freight backlog. So we knew that it was gonna be a while. Um, we did get notification in September of 2022 that the kit did ship, uh, minus the canopy and finishing kit. With the development of the new Sling High Wing, which is comprised of a completely composite fuselage, Sling perfected their injection molding processes and are now recreating the composite sections of the TSI kit to take advantage of these new processes. This caused a delay in shipment for our TSI canopy and finishing kit, but the kits are expected to arrive well before we need them in the building process. Once the kit shipped, we were told which ship the container was loaded on and the general idea of the route and timeline. 
we monitored the progress of the ship as it made its way from Port Elizabeth in South Africa all the way to Newark, New Jersey, then down the eastern coast and on to the Bahamas, through the Panama Canal, and up the western coast of Mexico, and finally to the port of LA. We are currently awaiting notice from Sling that our kit has arrived so we can schedule transportation from Southern California to our home where we will begin the building process. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about our sling buying process. Our kit should be arriving any day now, and I look forward to sharing our building process with you.